What the hell was that? Uh, thunder. Thunder? Fuck you, Thunder. There was a goddamn bomb. Stop smoking within the job. I may be high, but I'm telling you, there's ill behavior happening. Motherfuckers running around and I'm going to tell someone before it escalates. You know what I'm saying? Police, I want to report some ill behavior. Come in, it's a What up, everybody, and welcome back to yet another Sound of Violence podcast. We are a podcast that normally talks about the MMA podcast. You should catch, skip, and can't miss each week. However, there was no big shows aside from Invicta this week, so we are going to be doing a commentary for the 2017 movie Cartels featuring Steven Seagal and GSP, which, oh boy, that should be a thing. Uh, I am here with my co-host, Chris McDaffer. What up, dude? Steven Seagal, also known as American Ambassador to Russia, I believe. <laughs> sure. Yeah, Which Steven Seagal. definitely uh, makes a lot of sense, unfortunately. Yeah, also Steven Seagal, a.k.a. the guy who the guy who uh, trained Anderson Silva, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's right. In Aikido, right? Yeah, a totally no. useful martial art in oh, a way. Oh, 100%. 100%. He's blocking everything now that he trained with Steven Seagal. I'm also here with Girlfriend Karen. What up, Girlfriend Karen? Hi. Um, so we are going to be kicking this off. I just poured a Firestone Walker DBA, but it's from Nitro, which is really fucking weird. It's got a good head on it. it but I this is never a beer I would pick to put on Nitro. The Double Barrel Ale. Well, it's kind of weird when I see nitro beers in cans, considering maybe like I think four years ago or something like that. Or I would always ask someone to taste them. Oh, will you guys ever like put this beer in cans? And they go, Oh, we can't put beers on nitro in cans. It's like so maybe. They... Yeah, sh- except shouts out to Guinness who was doing it back then. I was, was going to say, or like Boddington's. So like, yeah, you if you listen. Oh, actually, there there isn't a widget in it. Huh, so weird. I don't I don't actually understand how this works anymore. Evidently. Um, it's kind of okay though. You want to try it? It's sure. it's pretty it's pretty smooth. It's tastes like DBA. Uh, and what are you drinking on tonight? I have Stone Scorpion Bowl, a very citrusy and flavorful IPA. Yeah, hella tropical. That's a great yeah. one. Uh, and girlfriend Karen, you are drinking on uh, Coors Golden Banquet beer in the stubby bottles, the classiest of classy. That's right. You know when the stubbies come out, you're talking class. Um, but we will go ahead and kick this movie off here in a second. However, girlfriend Karen and I, when we uh, start this off, since Chris is going to be driving later, he is not going to be doing a shot. However, we are going to be doing a shot of, I swear to God, it's called this, Noguera's Coma Brandy. Barcelona Brandy. Bar- Barcelona Brandy. Bar- Barcelona. Barcelona. Uh, it is a glass... You, you'll see a picture in the description for this. Pretty but cool bottle. It's a weird as shit bottle. Yeah, Nogueras Comas from Barcelona. Uh, it's it's a giant. It's just a lady filled with brandy. Uh, last time I had this, full disclosure, I almost died of a allergy fit. So we'll see how this Wait, goes. I can't remember what allergies you have. Uh, mostly, Everything. I believe it was mostly dust. I was saying, besides dust, yeah. it was sort of like, what is it, hibiscus? I remember one time I brought over a beer, and you're like, dude, this has hibiscus in it, I'm fucked. Well, except I have, like, mild out. Most of my allergies are either mild or I drink my way through them. Which is funny, considering he forgets that I'm allergic to coconut and buys coconut-flavored beers uh, true. on a rag. But I'm allergic to dogs, and there was four dogs over here earlier today. So, we'll go ahead and keep moving on. <laughs> uh, but we're going to be taking this shot as we start this off, and it'll be a... Uh, it should be pretty interesting. So we're going to be watching, like we said, the 2017 movie Cartels. You can find it on Amazon or YouTube or I believe on Vudu, V-U-D-U. It's like four Which, bucks as opposed to I 13. I don't know if anyone ever uses that, but maybe. I don't know. It's a third of the price as compared to Amazon or YouTube. Yeah, so. but you own it. If you want it. Well, I own this movie on Blu-ray, obviously. 
Uh, we're watching a very legitimate Blu-ray version Super. that you can't find online anywhere. You got the director's commentary cut. I mm. do not. I but, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I do have that, but we're not watching that. Yeah, he oh, has two really editions, is. guys. That's how big of a fan he is of uh, Sensei right. Seagal. I mean, he did try to train under Sensei Seagal at one point. The, the, yeah, you know me. I'm all about the Sensei Seagal lifestyle. Because just like Tom Segura says, Steven Seagal has been doing this for about 45 years. 100%. Uh, and by 45, he means 145. Oh, yeah, that's uh, right. He's uh, transcended now into the reincarnation of Buddha, I believe he once claimed. That's right. So, we are going to be starting this just after... <laughs> yes, Karen, Steven Seagal is that interesting. I mean... Yeah, go ahead and put quotes around the word interesting in that sentence. Uh, but we're going to be starting right after the Lionsgate logo and right before the Grindstone logo. Uh, we will also key in as to any uh, text on screen or anything. I believe on the copy that we have, it is around, I think it's 20 seconds in... And the copy we have is an hour, 40 minutes, and two seconds. So get ready to queue up. We're going to count you down. Three, two, one, play. And on play, you can go ahead and uh, hit play on the copy you have, and you should be queued up with us. And again, it's right after that Lionsgate logo fades out, which is around 20 seconds in for the copy we have. So, uh, everybody ready? Let's do it. Okay, I am going to pour this... And then we will kick this off. Uh, Girlfriend Karen, you want to describe these shot glasses we're using? Oh, God, I just put Uh, some brandy into my beer. Yes, we are using some very classy shot glasses. We have a grizzly bear shot glass from Alaska that has an actual grizzly bear in it. And then I got... Uh, Let's go ahead and rephrase that. Not an actual grizzly bear. Dude, did you pour me a man-sized shot? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh, shit, I did. Like half of it, you're yeah, get another shot. Oh, we don't have any more shot glasses, do They're we? They're on the dishwasher. Uh, why don't you find something we can... Why don't you pull the top off of one of those just and we can like fill you up a thimble. Them. You're good. Go ahead and just pull the cap off of one of those bottles. Like oh. the... Uh, oh, no, that's not... I meant like a, the cruising bottle or something. Cruising. Oh, my God. I'm trying... Uh, I have short, stubby T-Rex arms. <laughs> That's right. She's the Artem Lobov of this podcast. The goat. <laughs> yes, I'm the baby shot. The goat. Okay, that's too small. Yeah, you guys are just, just going to have to half Literally this. just drink like half that. Oh, okay. Uh, or not so, even half, Maybe a quarter of it. Actually, you know what? Why don't... We can, I that's can the it. bigger one. So I would say do half of that one. Why, you know what, girlfriend Karen? Why don't you start off with a shot and Chris and I will take one as it starts. So I do, mean, go I'm, and do I'm your, not, but... Do your half you shot. have fun. You're doing a half shot, right? Uh, no, man. Pray for I, I me. thought he just said he was doing a half didn't, shot. I never said it on. Never he told me to do a half a shot. Oh. I said you should probably do But you don't want to be a one. homie and help me out and finish with the other half? Not really. Not when wow. I, I drove it here. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, well, then in that case, don't do it yet. We'll start it off. I can just pour a little bit back in. Oh, my God. This is a you mess. You know me, everyone. I'm a lightweight. Yeah, I'll just deal with it. All right. Bit. So, we're, <laughs> we're going to start this off. Chris is a giant pansy for not taking a half yep. shot of... Brandy from the 70s. Did I mention it's from the 70s? Literally from the 70s. Yeah. Not like it was started in the 70s. No, like this bottle was purchased in the 70s. Let's put it that way. Uh, So we will kick this off. Uh, This is again Cartels from 2017. So if everybody's ready. I guess. All right. Let's do it. Oh, I should not be chasing this with the beer. I just spilt it into. So, oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to use this sweet. Strawberry chaser, peak, yeah. or strawberry peach. Chaser. All right, well, let's count it down, and then uh, Chris, I'm gonna have you fill in after we, uh, after we, yeah, while we're busy dying. So sounds good. Three, two, one, play. All grindstone right. logo. Yeah, so right now we see the grindstone logo. A lot of flashes. Wow, that's bright. That's unnecessary. The logo, but they're trying to be a little cool, a little nifty. <sighs> Little logo showing up right now. It looks like the barrel of a revolver. I did Steamroller Productions just faded out. Now another logo, Action House. Yeah, it's uh, a good brand. A lot of fire effects. This is probably where half the budget of the movie went. It was just the beginning clip of the intro. It seems that way. The Brodsky Krug, known as the Brothers Circle, an international drug oh, cartel from the fire. The man behind the empire, shot and I'm Joseph Diboron Salazar, aka the Great White Shark. 
Oh shit, the great white shark. I mean, LT Bro is literally just the shark, but alright. Half Colombian, half Russian. Of course he is. Wed to the daughter of the head of the circle. The rise of Salazar can be charted through the bodies left in his wake. Oh shit. So. Hollywood media. Is GSP going to be the great white shark? Because I fucking hope so. That sounds amazing. But I doubt it. It's probably Steven Seagal. Yeah. Should I turn it up? Yeah, a little bit. Also, can I give a full disclosure and apologies to our listeners? I will have to make a little bit of noise to sneak out for a moment. That's right. She's going to smuggle a dog. They'll probably need a distraction for this movie. I mean, it'll be more entertaining. Hey, I don't know. I've seen the words manhunt, which is a great rock star game. Oh, never mind. Here's the half Russian, half Colombian. It's got chess pieces in it. We know it's going to be a good movie. Oh, yeah. When I was flipping through this earlier to make sure the audio worked... On the very legit version of the DVD I have, I uh, I did see a, a certain scene. I like I just saw a, a picture of a certain scene with I mean, GSP and chess pieces that looked real am, good. Am I the only one who feels like Steven Seagal is slowly morph- morphing into the Michelin Man? I think him and John Travolta are in a race to see who can get there yes. first. <laughs> yeah, and Ben Affleck just threw his hat in the ring recently. Yeah, um, they do have a little Saturday Night Fever. Also, shout out to Del Mar and Ice Cube, which is why we're uh, recording this late. Evidently, today was not a good day. Girlfriend Karen Somebody decided to use an AK. Yeah, girlfriend Karen was uh, stuck in the middle of a traffic jam due to an active shooter. That's right. Shout out to Donald Cerrone. Shout out to He's looking real fit. Shout out to movies reminding that smoking cigarettes make you cool. Oh man, That's fucking I'm so Constantine, cool. dog! I've never Dude, wanted to smoke a cigarette more. Constantine is the greatest film ever for U.S. Marshal cigarettes. Tom Jensen. I have never seen Constantine. Keanu Reeves. Oh, that's on Netflix now. I gotta check that out. No, I know which one it is. It's Neither one of you have seen it? A uh, long time ago. I can't remember it. it I just remember Shia LaBeouf plays a cat fighter fighter Maybe we can Smoking do a looks so good in that movie. Let's see what this moron is talking about. Too much, too much whispering. So that's very stereotypical of this guy. Oh, I should not have taken that whole shot. Yeah, it's a thing. Mm. It's just like instincts kicked in. My allergies didn't explode this time, though, so well, that's good. probably because we got all the dust off last time. True. Careful about bumping that with your leg. Oh, my fucking God. God, he's just gotten so fat and saggy. Oh, thanks, baby. Oh, you Why does he have to wear it? <laughs> oh, never mind. His glasses are clearly signature now. Does nobody believe that his hair is naturally black anymore? Because I, 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 I don't believe he has like, hair. Just like this, he's like just like he used to say in the eighties. I'm part Native American. Oh wait, now I'm part Russian. So isn't I can't he also a deputy in Louisiana or something? Unfortunately, yes, that's like a real thing. Yeah, but that's a low bar to fucking yeah. pass if you've seen any of the show Treme. Very true. God, this is the worst, dude. But that's just how he talks. That's how he talks. Dude. Unfortunately. Yeah. Dude refused. Dude, that's just Tom Segura's impersonate impressions are pretty employed. He's like, yeah. He's like, I've been I've been watching dogs for thirty five years. <laughs> I've been watching dogs. Oh my fucking lord, that's terrible. That is like, oh, oh look at those glasses. I'm not impressed by your fake accent. Hey, I'm not impressed by your chest playing. Let's see. Oh. Are we supposed to believe this is Steven Seagal and his prime physical shape being able to do this kind of shit? I mean, dog, when has he ever not been in prime physical shape? That's the real question, bruh. I mean, his what's prime the movie, vi- dude? What's the movie called again where he's in New York and his partner gets killed and he's looking for Richie? I, fuck, dude, do you I have remember not that? seen and enough like, Steven Seagal movies. People. It's actually legitimately entertaining, but that's like after that he went insane or more insane. He's maybe my least favorite Bruno? of the genre. Bruno Sinclair is GSP. His name's Bruno. Oh, yeah. No, that checks out. I knew a guy named Bruno once. He was a total dick. Well. I'd be an asshole, too, if my parents named me Bruno. To be fair. Hey, Bruno, where the fuck is Popeye? It was a... No, that's Bluto. Oh, that's Bluto? Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, the only Bruno I can think of is Sasha Baron Cohen. Speaking of, uh... That's... I was, Bluto, I was gonna make that joke. I uh, tried to convince... Chris or er, Pulver over here to uh, dress up as olive oil and Popeye for Halloween, but he said yeah. no. No, if I you want me to, that. there's only one Bluto I will dress up as, and it's John Belushi in Animal House. Good answer. Yeah. That's Bluto. <laughs> I 
Huh? <laughs> that is no. like a poor man's Brad Pitt right there. That's pretty sweet Kango he's rocking. That is pretty sick. Looking like fucking, uh... Oh, God. Who's the fucking trainer for Frankie Edgar? Mark Del Grotti. Del Grotti, yeah. Oh my god, who the fuck wears chrome paint on a Hummer? Oh my god, they're like, the director's like, hey, you know what would look really cool? We're in a forest, in a jungle. Let's We're have, supposed to be blending in. Let's have it look like it's invisible. Obviously it does blend in because it just looks like trees when you're in a jungle. I don't know what you're talking about. All I saw was a bunch of heads floating. I didn't see any bodies. Oh, no. oh right, right. No, he's a poor man's Javier Bardem. That's what yes. he is. That's what he is. Accurate. Even in the end, my Russian accent. God, that fucking hair. Seagal, you don't have natural hair anymore. I've been doing natural hair for 100 years. I've been uh, training dogs for 150 years now. GSP's Starry Night shirt is pretty rad. Pretty rad. He's like, yeah, I, I might get you that. He's like, I am doing Christmas. my best impersonation of El Chapo. Yeah, hundred percent. His I like Conor McGregor's <laughs> demeanor. God, look at all those floating heads. I see no bodies. They Dude, blend in so well. Your camo jokes are not lost on me. Steven Seagal legitimately looked out of breath during that take to turn a walk. Yeah, because he was out of breath. <laughs> He's been out of breath for. Let's remind years you how now. good cigarettes are for you and how how cool they make you look. Hey, they do make they you make look, me look cool. really cool. I mean, I'm just saying that just to fuck with the movie. But I've seen Constantine. The, I'll I, just say this: if I smoke cigarettes, I d- it definitely does I, make you look cooler. I know. I G- smoke cigarettes. Yeah, GSP shirt looks like a if it's a bandana. It looks like if a bandana and Starry so Night. Look, had let's a have him stay on fire and shoot him. Put him out of his misery fast. I mean, yeah, I'd want, to be, sh- I'd want, to, I'd want to be shot. Falls on fire too. Why did he just grab one of the chess pieces and put it in his pocket? Because it's a, it's a explosive or no. drugs. No, those are the two options. No, what it's going to be is he's going to leave it at the next body scene as a, uh, to- a as a uh, token or some shit, token or, like or a, a uh, card. trick. Wow, is that the maid or some shit that got murdered? Fucking maid. What did he ever do besides fold your sheets nicely? I got a goal. You can sorry, tell by, sorry, Consuela. You can tell by my glasses. Her that name is not Consuela. I know it's probably not. It's probably like you know. I hooked up with a girl named Consuela one time. Did she clean your bed and give you fold down service afterwards? No, her real name was Jessica. Everyone just called her Consuela. <laughs> oh, heard. It was not a good decision. Yeah, you've had a lot of those in your past. True. I think got thrown on my head by another girl r- shortly afterwards. Yeah, I was your best decision. Well. 600 dogs in all. I want barbecue now. <laughs> I know, some ribs sound like really good right now. Yeah, that charred body looked pretty good. I want some barbecue now. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, there was a key in it. Ah, in the uh, body? In the chest piece. I was kidding. Oh. Wait, did he just eat it? He did. No, he, he, it. he took a shot of it, obviously. I've seen Arrest and Development. He's going to break out of jail with the key, and uh, that one guy is going to stab him in the He's side. He's going to take that girl hostage. Oh, no. White well, Power no, no, Bill is going to stab is? him. You know what it is? In the beginning of the movie, when Steven Seagal was like talking about this guy they're going to they're gonna go take, I think she was the chick sitting next to him who works for the agency. Mm, oh, the maid girlfriend. was? Yeah, it's like, no, the chick that was next to Steven Seagal during like, the, uh, the, the, gotcha. the, the federal shit. So it's probably like an inside oh, so job. Like it's like become an inside job. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, I secretly wig for him. Whoa, there's That a good did not read. sound intimidating at all. That's a good ADR right there. Hey, let me see your hands. No. <laughs> nice nice head and arm throw, bro. Like you're fucking <laughs> Oh my god, Steven Seagal did not look ready for that and he's just like right. No, he was out of breath the entire oh, time. Oh, they're you they're all US Marshals. Okay. How many X's are on Steven Seagal's outfit? Because it's more than two. That's a, at least a triple XL. Yeah. <laughs> he is looking real thick. As a as a thick dude, I'm saying. He does not look like he can do field missions anymore. Let's put it that way. He looks more like Danny McBride than he does Steven Seagal at this point in time. He's just Dan- that, the hey, sweet that's mullet. an insult to Danny McBride. That's true. Yeah. 
Darren McDryde's actually a good actor. Wow, that too. Okay, so did he just murder the target? That's not the mission, dumbass. Wow. Well, I mean... Oh, wait, it's this movie. He's not going to be dead. Who are we kidding? Oh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> That's the worst fake crying I've ever seen. I mean... And I fake cried to get pancakes. To before. be fair, he's only good at fake crying when he is talking about how he really wants a title shot. Or aliens. Or dinosaurs. Dude, I would cry over some dinosaurs. So would he. GSP loves him some dinosaurs. I mean, he's a man of good taste. The T-Rex is an incredible animal. One time Nick Diaz yeah, see, buried me in a... Job. Refer- it's inside job. This guy's not really dead. One time Nick Diaz see, buried me... See, because that's a chick that works for the Russians. It's, it's so... God damn it. I am alive. Surprise. No, he's dead. He looks pretty dead. He'll be alive. Um, Speaking of dead... We do have a joint. Half of a joint. I'm good. It's okay. a half a joint. Yeah, kick it off. So watch, I think this chick that he was looking at in the photo is this chick right here, I think. I had that same fan as a kid. Why oh, hey, are you wearing a leather fucking jacket? So, um, this is a, uh, orange sherbet. It's, uh, 17, 173 milligrams of THC. I don't necessarily buy it. That's not, well, so they say that, but it's 17.3% and it's a gram, I'm assuming. I don't know if that actually, that math works like that. <laughs> it was harvested on 7 7 <coughs> 2018. And manufactured on 8 20, 2018. What the fuck does. What's the difference between harvesting and manufacturing? Harvested means that's when it was picked from the farm. Right. Manufactured dried. was when it was rolled. No, manufactured is probably when it was. When it was. Uh, manufactured. Uh, jarred. Pro- no, probably when it was rolled. Because it's the label on there. Right, but I'm saying it has to dry between the two, and I'm guessing they didn't get it in joint form. Possibly. U.S. Marshals are pretty much a super cop. You sure you don't even right? want one hit? No. I, I think I'm alright. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Maybe just one hit. Peer pressure, peer pressure. pressure. I mean, it's just one. <laughs> I mean, it'll you know make what? this movie ten times better. It, it, no, I'm sure. And it'll be like that kid from Held in Kumar. Come on, man. Just hit it. Just do it. Just do it. What do you got to lose? Just do it. Apologies for my coughing. It's okay. I'm secretly burping. It's because beer makes me burp, apparently. Thank you. To be like to get it. I'm so high. Nothing can hurt me. No. <coughs> oh wanted. God! I hope we're gonna see more dope bike scenes like the last one we watched. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. But guys, isn't this pretty skirt? U.S. Marshals are pretty much super um, cops. She right? is not in the military. Her hair is down. That is not regulation. And technically, this isn't the military if it's U.S. Marshals. Oh, that's true. Very true. Basically, but marshals are basically like the upper echelon of police. Or no, not even really, because they're federal agents. So what the fuck am I talking about? Never mind. They're just feds. <coughs> Goddamn feds. <laughs> Shout out to the movie U.S. Marshals. <coughs> John, Rob John, Jr., Wesley Snipes. Do you remember that movie? And if you didn't know, that movie is actually also known as The Fugitive 2. Uh, what was that one with uh, Tommy Lee Jones where he had to protect a bunch of sorority girls? That was a real classic. Oh, where is he's in Texas, right? What the fuck's that called? I can't remember what it's called. You know what I'm talking about, oh, right? Oh, here comes the house bringing the something with the... What the fuck? No, I'm just going to have to Google this shit because it's going to bother IMDb. me. IMDb, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh... But yeah, shout out to all U.S. Marshals references. U.S. Marshals, great movie. Tommy the Jones' greatest uh, Marshal Sam Gerard. Shout out to Robert Downey Jr. being the villain. Oh, spoiler alert, sorry. Also, shout out to Justified. Great show from FX. You've never seen it? Like that show. Raylan Givens is badass. Everybody getting shout outs. Do shout out shout to out? this bald dude for looking like a, a skinny GSP a little bit. Or skinny Randy Couture, actually. Dude looks like if GSP and Randy Couture had a kid. Man of the house. Yes. <laughs> there we go. So this, you could say this is, Ran, this is Randy Couture St. Pierre. Oh no, Randy Couture St. Jardine. I would have gone with George, <coughs> George Couture, but yeah. <coughs> that sounds like a <coughs> not cough fashion brand. Yes. Uh, you okay on the coughing? Oh, 
oh, this guy was in the U.S. Army, he's going to be a marshal. Got it. But again, that makes sense. Though, to be honest, a lot of U.S. Marshals would be foreign military. You no, know he mean? was a cowboy. What are you talking about? Did you oh. see how fast he holstered that gun? That's right. Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. Peer pressure. All right, guys. One more. <laughs> you never get high the first time. <laughs> what the fuck was that face? Just to be funny. <laughs> to be fair, you had a real, uh, you had a real uh, G six delivery on that one. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> That's the point. He's here in spirit. Oh, I missed you. Wait, isn't he in town? No, he's not in town. He was in town a couple weeks ago. (laughs) See, goddamn you, G6. Every time I check, like, Instagram stories, like, Lacey says, He was just here. It's like, oh, Uncle Michael's here. When the fuck are you here? He has to be a grown-up now that he works for an actual airline. Yeah. Can't hang out with us delinquents. (laughs) That's right. (coughs) Sorry. Yeah, that's the sound of girlfriend Karen being a... Shout out to U.S. Marshal Lip Injections. <laughs> uh, don't forget U.S. Marshal Botox, because that bitch has no frown lines, and that's not normal. Does she have Con heels? Air, did Wait. he just say Con Air? Hell does she, yes. Does she have heels on her boots? Her fucking I, Timberlands? I hope so. Oh, God, if That's she does. That's some fucking bougie shit right there. If she does, she is my new favorite person. That's like some Nicki Minaj wait, 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 fucking... Wait, wait. No, come no, on, show it, show it, show it. Oh, come on, you can't see her heels. God, he's Wait, not... wait, he just changed accents, you hear that? He was just regular, and I was like, dead or alive. His real accent came out. Pretty sure this chick visited your mom's work. Yeah, she definitely had some Botox, um, a little Juvederm, some uh, lip injections. She got the recommendation from Tong DeLong, I heard. She's got the booty... Ooh. Uh, We're going to edit that little part out because, (laughs) God forbid, that specific person ever hear this, my mother could get in quite a bit of trouble. Yo, a hippie could eat a dick. Baby, also, that's totally not a real story, obviously. The baby, they're I, out I, there. I obviously, yeah, I obviously didn't try to get a signature from Tom DeLonge no, no, on we are in, No, we are in Romania. No, now they're in the U.S. Transit Air, MK Airbase. In Romania. It's well, just, I didn't see that. It's it's your word a, against mine. You could tell by the crazy blonde lady that they're clearly in some kind of Russia. Or they're right setting now. up a scene for Mortal Kombat. So wait, Fair. so is this all flash? This is clearly all Shot. flash forward. So guys, so for, so basically he's like being screened by the Fed saying, uh, how did this mission go about? And he's like, well, this is what I did. And it's just like a fuck you, the whole movie. Yeah, it's you, good because I'm... Pretty much. Also known as very lazy screenwriting. Right. Future screeners don't ever do this. Ever. No. It's... That's like saying, let's write the ending first. <laughs> and just and go there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean Memento? Yeah, the budget? To be fair, at least Chris Nolan like knows how to direct it. Everybody likes Memento. Everybody likes Chris Nolan. I, I think my friends that I like overrated. Memento back in the days when I was doing Christopher Nolan is over it. <laughs> Is over it to the extent where his best film, in my opinion, is The Prestige. And Batman mm. also sucks. And not the Batman movies at all. I know. I'm the worst. No one agrees with me. No, 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 no. I agree with you. See, look, hey guys, remember I said this guy's alive? Yeah. But wait, are we, are we, where are we in the timeline? Also, he looks like a knockoff Michael, Dor- no wait, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. <laughs> a little bit. It looks like Asian Joseph Gordon Gordon Levitz. I didn't want to bring in the race card, but thank you for knowing what I was thinking. That's why I said knockoff. That that might be more racist. Oh, you know who this looks like besides Javier? It looks like Benicio Del Toro from Sicario. Like, who can we copy? Yes. Let's give him a fucking beard. It is. She looks like a Gina Carano knockoff. That's literally what they're going for. God damn it! She's, There's like she's kind of like the they, cheap, the poor man's Gina Carano. They do. It does feel like they want. There's so many archetypes in this. This is great. So they got so many what? To- art or er, archetypes? Not, not archety- ar- archetypes. <laughs> For once, I was not the one saying the wrong thing. Yeah. I heard it and I was like, "Oh, I just want to see if this is." Arch- I, was, <laughs> I was like, "Dude, the, but they're, they're loving it." Shouts to the what? Golden arches. Uh, oh, oh, ar- okay. Wow, that was a deep pull. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's what she guys, said. Let's go to St. Louis next. <laughs> 
I, I get it. It's arch jokes, y'all. <laughs> My feet aren't flat. Yeah, the Romans would be They're very, very well no. arched. Wait, did the Romans have an arch? Yes. Many. Okay. And so did the Greeks. And the Italians. And the, uh, don't forget those Italians. Yeah. yeah. Chris won't. Don't, don't worry. Those dumb Ginzos. <laughs> It's funny, I said that to this dude who's from New York where he's like, he's like, yo Chris, when you're in New York, make sure you don't say that kind of shit because the East Coast Italians take offense. I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do because here on the West Coast, no one gives a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Also because Italians are... Overly sensitive. Oh, East Coast Italians. Oh, East Coast, everybody on the East Coast is overly sensitive. Oh, yeah. Shouts to my dad. <laughs> Fucking New Jersey. All right. Anyone can be bought. So yeah, this bad guy... He's working for them. Yeah, so we should be talking about this, bro. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it. I just that wanted... delivery. Um, yeah. This was him, watch. This is literally cut. He's like this. Fuck, what was my line? Alright, we'll cut back to that. And then, what was the name? <laughs> just... I wanted to see a clip of him just pulling um, his glasses back down on his nose before he had to restart that line every time to push back You up. mean like James Franco in that recent Tommy was so movie? Was so? What is lie? What was lying? <laughs> oh, right. Oh. oh Tommy, I think you need... Have, what are you doing have, here? Have this bottle. It'll help you. Hello, Poppy. God, can we watch that again? That was so bad, so good. Yeah, yeah. I, I quite enjoyed that. Oh, hi, Mark. What are you doing here? This is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. This is bullshit. I did not hit her. I love that movie, too. Not The Room, by the way. Well, that's good. That's that's a good I love The Room. I love, I love The Room movie. after, like, one of those. I love bad movies, though. The mm-hmm. best part is, like, hi, Johnny. Didn't even recognize you. That's me. Like, Fight Sweet Valley's like, the doggy. best. Oh, really? It's not Cool as Ice? Oh, Cool as Ice and Fight Valley are, like, the best movies. You know what's not... I genuinely... I'm not even kidding when I say this. I genuinely like them more than I like good movies. I would rather watch Poultry Grace again. Uh, Poultry oh, Grace wow. is pretty good. I'm oh, sorry, I have to interrupt. You know, you know this little thread that's going on? Uh-huh. Uh, they're all at Peter D's, like, Jana and, like, Good Chubby's Oh, there. so a bunch of our buddies are just a, sh- a bunch of shit shows in a giant text thread. Wait, tonight. then why aren't we there? Because we're you know pretty what, big shit you know, shows. You know, you know what Dwayne just said? Sorry, I'm on my way, but I'm too busy getting shot at the Ice Cube show. <laughs> Dude, I wasn't even at the fairground. No, Janet just said, just... I changed my mind. Leaving Peter D's, it's worse than Blarney. <laughs> yeah. Duh. I don't know. We Shouts don't... to Peter D's being very methy. We're not very big on Blarney Stone recently. I, I Both those places. I'm good off of Claremont Bars for a while. I've never been kicked out of Peter D's. To be fair, I have only been kicked out three times, but it was all on the same night. (laughs) While looking for my cell phone. True. That was like, what, a year ago? That was last Halloween. Yeah. So yeah, like a year ago. Alright, I'm going to focus in now. I'm going to really try to see how great this is. Except no one ever. You know, they're really conspicuous with those uh, big black SUVs. Go ahead and say big and black slower next time. Big and uh, black. Dude, is this a Chevy commercial now? By the way, they're like parking these cars. No, when I say that, no one means ah. <laughs> like, you uh, said it's, I, it's not what that meant, though. Was I doing what he told me? Uh, yeah. Letter of the law. Not right, spirit of the Botox. law. Oh, knock off Laura Croft. Yes. Yeah. It's, yes. If, if, if Laura Croft had Botox. Which is what Jesus Angelina Pro- Jolie did. <laughs> Right. No, that's fair. I mean, she was the obvious comparison. That's why I didn't even bring it up. <laughs> All right, we got Benicio Del Russian. That's what I'm calling this guy. I like it. You mean Benicio Del Belgrave? Yeah. Belgrave. Belgrave? I don't fucking know even what you're referencing. I don't know. Belgrave is a city in Russia. Is it? Oh, Do they have cities in Russia? I forgot how bad I thought everything is just called Russian. Yeah. Uh, geometry? <laughs> geometry. <laughs> you made me take a really bad shot and you're surprised hey, I'm a little drunk. Hey, Chris, she's from Pythagorean Theorem, Russia. <laughs> <laughs> so geometry. Uh, yeah. The Russian triangle. Everyone's just like, shut the fuck up and watch this shitty movie. He is a shark. <laughs> Cute I'm bastard. say that to someone if I'm playing poker. I am a shark. They're like, what are you doing? I sneak up on Chris, uh, Pulver with my cold hands. I am a shark. Okay. 
Oh my god, those... This is great. The, the, those uniforms, I mean, those are Watch, just... the reason why she's giving all these fucking weird eyes is like, oh, this guy's in on it. Or no, the bald guy, obviously he's a hero. Well, duh, she's Same. gonna end up banging him in the end. Well, yeah, that happens. But So they're both the heroes. She is a heroine. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah, she's not... But I think heroes is still, like, a, a neutral term, though, in general. Heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be uh, stepping away from the mic for a moment, so it'll actually make sense for a little while. That's right. Shouts out to Dog Duty. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but somebody's getting whiny. Oh, no, dude. This main bad guy is literally if Josh Brolin and Benicio Del Toro fused. Oh, that's a pretty good call. Three billion. Three billion. Everybody's saying goodbye to Zoe. Bye, Zoe. Bye, bye. Oh, they text you. Yeah, they're here. See you, Zoe. It's been real. That's right. Shouts out to random dogs who be here. Hey, she's like a potato. She just stinks. Yeah. Until she's ready to go. It's Curly Bill Brocious from the great movie Tombstone would say, well, bye. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> that is the goddamn squeakiest fucking door He's of all time. WD-40. That's right. Watch, but guys, stay away from the window. What is his accent? Dude, it's like he can't decide if he's from from Texas Texas or Georgia or Mississippi. Or if he doesn't have an accent at all. Let's listen listen to this idiot. Stay the course, dude. Yeah, dude, it's weird. His accent keeps going off. Dude, it's so distracting now. Just everything sounds weird when he says it. That's not me saying that. <clears throat> I'm from England! <laughs> shit like that. Who the fuck? Is this all he does in the movie? Because he's so out of shape? It can't be seen moving. I mean, we saw him move it all, the only that's time we were going to, yeah. We're like, fuck, guys, I can't do it. He might, like, fuck somebody, but that's the only <laughs> other thing. Yeah. Unfortunately for them. Yeah, and unfortunately for, yeah, unfortunately for everyone's for, eyes. Yeah. Exactly. I've been doing sex for 85 years. Jesus. Yeah, this guy's just like, I notice everything. Dude, there's so much of this movie that I'm like, why even? I'll admit, like the cinematography's not bad. Like, no, it looks pretty, but like, it's a piece of paper with a diamond ring and stuff stuck inside of it. And then there was one less dog. Thank God. Anybody need a beer? Um, yeah. You want to bring me one of the Luponics since this one is pretty fucking warm? Yeah. You want to swap it? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Wrong guy. It's a switch. It's a switcheroo. Uh, switcheroo. Oh no, I'm good. Okay. I appreciate it. That sweet jacket. Ooh, I want that for. Christmas. Okay, this makes no sense. This dude sees the head. Oh wait, but they are in. Um... Fuck, what country was that? I already forgot. Some kind Romania. Of shit, They're in right? Romania. Yes. Yeah. Smoking not, not Russian, stuck but the lady. European, right? Eurasian. Eurasian. Whatever, bro. I'm so bad at geography. I'm not even sure where Arizona is. You mean is. geometry? I was, well, see, I was going to say, I never passed geometry in high school. Right? Yeah. That was like the only math class I ever got an A in. 
Let's like see shapes. what this. Let's see what this brilliant bald motherfucker has to say now. Is he smoking a marijuana cigarette? He is a marijuana cigarette. I don't know nothing about those things. Watch this. Let's see. Please smoke it. Oh, dude, you'd have been so much cooler. And he's like, you know what? Fuck you. I am the law. <laughs> I am the law. I am the law. Um, I really do want that red jacket for Christmas. <laughs> the hotel worker jacket? Just tweet it. Like, mm-hmm. just find a costume designer the credits. Just tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's like, I just tested you, Rook. I know uh, you smoke weed now. He also just totally checked out her ass. He's like, I know that you now smoke weed. And I took... Te- yeah. It's this fucking movie, dude. Gosh, what a narc. Fucking Jameson. narc. Narc. <clears throat> I'm like, sir, do I look high? <laughs> like, I'm just a drug test me. That's what she said. <laughs> His father must have been like seventy years old. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> Asian shows of Cory Rabbit. What happened to his accent? It keeps changing. I thought he was British for a second. It's gone like from British to like Texas. You try in Texas, yeah. Chavez. Chavez. What do you say next? Chavez. Now it sounds like he's from Arizona. Yeah. That's that's Chavez. Like, oh my god, god that's a that's Oscar worthy acting from her. Mm-hmm. Wow. I am actually half expecting this to turn out to be a porno. I know, it's like, yeah, she was, she was totally in the, in the U.S. Army. Yeah. No. I ahead. mean, that was back before lip injections were banned. Duh. And no one would ever use the term they got killed in cold blood. That's extra embellishment. You'd say they, a lot of people got killed. Like, come on. Yeah. Or KIA, so it's supposed to be military. Cold blood, Chris. They were killed in cold That makes blood. it worse, dude. <laughs> Fucking, they weren't even killed in warm blood, bro. <laughs> or said you said Then I'm gonna jump out of this car. <laughs> she is so bad. <clears throat> she's porn acting her way through this like a motherfucker. I'm surprised she's not eyeballing the camera the entire That's why I'm saying she's got the same level of talent as Jenna Jameson. Like Janet Jameson pretended like she. Could she act. has a nice dent in her forehead. If you know, that's what. because her Botox started wearing off a little bit halfway through shooting. She obviously went to a cut rate uh, dermatologist. Wait, it's gone in that scene. Oh my god! <laughs> this shit. Oh, it's showing up again. Maybe it's just the lighting. It is. Those lips are not yeah, lighting. It's lighting. Those are some DSLs right there. They sure are. Well, they're like how clowns have DSLs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too shade of that. A Mercedes bus. <laughs> Should I give you know do this from now on? <laughs> yeah. No, that's definitely it's a great call. Everybody will be able to totally understand you. Football club Odessa. Football <clears throat> club. So this yeah, is a professional no, soccer team, and now this professional soccer team is to be associated with this... They're a drug cartel, too. Sicario guy. Yeah, bro, I've seen Rams and Kadyrov. I know how this works. Oh, yeah. Of course, GSP shows up in the football club, does. What's up? What do you say? I had too much whispering. The entire team flew in town. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Wait, is GSP saying to put him in a body bag? <laughs> put him in a body bag. <laughs> Twist his dick. <laughs> Did you see that clip? There's a clip of some guy at an MMA show yelling "Twist his dick" over and over again. <laughs> I swear to God. He I might like God. it if you twist his dick. It's fucking the best. Fucking twist his dick. Yeah, they don't look suspicious at all. No, they totally. I've seen Royal Tenet Bombs. They look totally normal. There's totally not drugs and uh, dynamites in that bag. It's probably just some sort of, yeah, plastic explosive. <coughs> oh, let's be fucking cool now. We're masks. Payday, anyone? Yeah, this is some payday shit. Point break, anything. You name it. She sounded Canadian there. So, so Who goes to out? get food in their full body gear? Professionals, that's who. You never know when you get shot. The Arby's person in the drive through might just pop a cat. <clears throat> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that's the, like, literally what the director told him. Like, oh, you, no, he's probably like, hey, cut, can you guys go get me food real quick? And then, like, as they're doing it, like, fuck, we only have much, much budget to start rolling again. And it's like, got it when they come back with the food. Oh, I figured the director was busy doing blow and not at all being on set. So. <laughs> that's it. He had his assistant to everything. If I remember right, if I remember right, he has a crazy name. The only thing that would have made this better is if he had a group called like Anarchy Ninety Nine, like Triple X. Back in nineteen ninety nine. Oh yeah, I'm sure Keone Waxman was totally on set, not doing blow the entire time. Yeah. Wait, what's going on? Oh no, he broke his hand. Because he's dead. That's what they were talking about on the news, him being dead. Oh, he's like, you faked my death, now I don't know. Oh. Oh, or is it because his little girlfriend's dead, the blonde chick that they kept alluding to? Or is she really alive? I don't I don't know. I don't know. They said he was dead, and he's obviously very alive. Man, this Nitro DBA really doesn't hold up after it warms up. It becomes super watery. Sorry. No, that's my fault. It just means I didn't drink it Time to break out the guns. Be a professional. So is he going to extract his former boss? Um, theoretically? <clears throat> this has a lot of... Uh, Fast and Furious 4 vibes to it. Mm, like, that is clearly budget The Rock and budget Gina Carano, right? Where's Tyrese? No, that's Jason Statham if they couldn't afford The Rock. Ooh, yeah. That's the poor man's Jason Statham. Oh. Oh, come on. God, give this guy an Oscar. I'm sure Oscar's given it to him many a times. I mean, that's how he got this role. No, the food. A <laughs> good call. <clears throat> wow, see how his orange one is? I shoot you now. How do you not hear that, Mr. Trained Marshal? Also. She was like, sorry, I have so much Botox, my ear canal is flooded. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, they accidentally uh, froze my ear canal. I forgot what Botox did for a moment. Paralyzed. That was the word I was looking for, ladies and gentlemen. I was wondering how you freeze an ear canal with Botox. I was like, damn, how cold is Botox? Ice cold. Baby. I was going to say, one might say it's as cold as ice, yeah. Nitrogen freeze. <clears throat> It's a nitrogen one? This is some real good... What? He's just knifing dudes in the heart now? I mean, obviously you can knife through Kevlar, can't you? I mean, that's literally how Kevlar works. Hmm. They call it Kevlar because the knife isn't silent. <laughs> I meant K. <laughs> Damn. 
damn it. A knife. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm, too Why are you throwing a live... Oh, wait, was that a grenade or I had a flashbang? I don't know. I, no I don't. Idea. Oh. It was well portrayed, clearly. You it thunder! Was a, it was a goddamn bomb. Fucking thunder! It was a goddamn bomb. He is the best actor in this movie. Yeah. I think so. I think so. You hear what he just said? Yeah, motherfuckers are running around. around. The guy can tell me from the escalate. Oh, right in the face! They kill the guy. That's fucked. Yeah, that dude in the red jacket is my new favorite character. Yeah, he's fucking fantastic. This is Mortal Kombat. Fight! <laughs> That's probably how it's literally gonna end. Shouts out to the World Trade Center of Romania. Mm. Hopefully there's no planes <laughs> around. <laughs> Had to do it. Too, too soon. Too late. Well done, Too sir. soon, too soon. With the uh, memorial coming up very soon. Which it- I will be visiting on September 11th, because I'll be in New York. Today. Oh, so you aren't unpatriotic, you just make poor jokes. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, one might argue those aren't mutually exclusive. I mean, America's greatest joke is a uh, president. Like, what Trump. do you expect me to do? Visit, go inside the Freedom Tower, go to the top, and put on Instagram a caption? I can see the airport from here. No, I'm not going to quite do that. Well, it's good content. <laughs> he would do that. <laughs> no. He would totally do that, and he would put the airplane emoji. I would not put oh, the airplane emoji. here comes emoji. the inside job. What was the extraction? I don't Who knows? Benicio Del Brolin, we don't know what he's going to do next. You guys, I think I might be a drunk when I see scenes like that, and I'm just trying to figure out what bottles are in the background. <laughs> oh, I thought it was because you're trying to figure out if he was really going slow motion or if you were getting ready to black out. 50-50. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot Steven Seagal was in this. His Ikea mug. It's like, are they going to do like some usual suspects? So, is Kobayashi there? Um, no, dope. but Sharon Stone is going to fold her legs over seductively while talking to them. <laughs> Took me a minute to remember what that word was again. I'm a little bit high. What's he saying? He's threatening him? When they call, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't call you an asshole. Everyone will die? Cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you were born on a corn truck, Mr. Seagull. Oh, wait, no, he's Russian now. A uh, beet truck. Well, we would, because how fucking ridiculous you look, man. <laughs> What's that uh, one uh, doodle thing where you can uh, move this, the magnets this is and the worst, hair? This is the worst Joey Diaz impression I've ever heard. Fucking, fucking, fucking cocksucker! The fuck cocksucker! Get that, that monkey fucking, cocksucker! You fucking... The fuck you doing, cocksucker? Shout out to Joey Diaz. Oh, I know who this guy's trying to be an imposter of. It's Jason Statham meets William Fickner. You know, the actor, he's been in a lot of stuff. He was in um, Apollo 13. He was uh, yeah, in the yeah, Longest yeah. Yard remake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shout out to Joey Diaz, cocksucker. Motherfucking cocksucker. It's either ranch or blue cheese, you motherfucker. It's not blue cheese. Right. No. Blue, blue cheese or go, fuck, or go your fuck your mother. Thank you. Fucking you Louis 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 uh, My coworkers all work like, dude, blue cheese is gross. Like, blue cheese is kind of gross. She she eats ranch on her wings like a goddamn animal. What I do? Eat ranch on your wings like a goddamn animal. Well, Wait, William yeah, Fickner. because that's the only. Oh, him! He played um. He's a he plays ways. the wheelchair bound uh, boyfriend of the uh, on that show Mother with Anna Faris. Hmm. Oh yes, that show Mother with Anna Faris. Mom with Anna Faris. Okay, well, again. I'm gonna I'm gonna give five dollars to anybody who listens to this that knows what that show is because I don't think anybody does. Hey, Have when you, you ever wanna... even heard of that? What's up, Mom? 
Anna Ferris's show? I've seen like a shitty advertisement on Hulu really? for it. Okay, there's one. Oh no! Oh, that's a that's a super legit rear naked show. It's totally under the chin. Choke him out. Grab the dick. Grab and twist. <laughs> twist his dick. A hundred percent. Make him bleed his own blood. That's a very good, highly trained U.S. martial material right there. Yeah, where you just stick your chin up in the air at their at their, at their heel. And he's like this. Yeah, man, kick me here. I mean, come on, man, kick me right in the chin. Also, shout out to cops with uh, BMWs. Every cop has it a is BMW. It is Romania, and I think that is Volkswagen. Oh, that is BMW. I love the GSP is in this this much. It's fucking awesome. Oh, the other porn actress. That's fine. Shouts out to... Shouts out to my favorite character in the movie. Also, shouts out to girlfriend Karen going and grabbing uh, Seamus right now. He wants to come That's... and see attention. Wait, Steve, isn't this the chick that they thought was dead or some shit? I'm so confused now, like, who's on who's They side. all look very similar and have very little personality, so it's tough. Oh, is it? I'm not dumb enough to kill you as Marshall. I knock him out. You took my service weapon, bro. Oh, boy. That guy's like, is this secure? Is this secure? Yeah. <laughs> He's like just yelling at his... 100%. And also... Wait, how many countries do you think... How many countries do you think they went through before they picked Romania? Because you know uh, it wasn't their first much. choice. They're like, well, we can't get to the World Trade Center in Russia. Guys, what building could we afford to repel on? Yeah. The biggest part of our movie. Oh, shit, some rush hour shit. Back in 1999, we made Anarchy 99. Now I understand why that bar is there. Because obviously they're going to shoot all of those bottles. John Woo style. Call right? it. Yep. Also, I believe that was a Dewar's or a hippie, or the uh, Japanese where's, whiskey. Where's Inspector Tequila? We need him to come flying across the room on a fucking service cart. Right. AK rounds would shred right through that and shred his face. 100%. Uh, yeah, pick, him up, pick him up, pick him up. Seamus, <laughs> you are so loud, buddy. Come here. Sit on the couch. Be good. He said he heard uh, his podcast was on. He needed to come and co host. Yeah, I'm definitely. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He's the new host. As we decided during the last one, he took over hosting duties. Does anybody need a beer? Oh, uh, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. Oh, did someone's arm just get blown clean off? I mean... That's not how a shotgun works, but okay. I mean, don't, okay, it can blow your arm clean off, but it wouldn't detach, it would literally be mangled. I don't want yeah. to explain this. Yeah. Oh, damn it. It would be dangling by some little bit of flesh. Don't make Seamus hungry. Yeah, by tenderness. Seamus can't have flesh. He's allergic to it. True. He just gulped like, God damn it. <laughs> he does love him some Gabesa. How is this guy standing there? I'm, not, I'm done asking questions. <laughs> yeah, there, there are no answers for this movie. The only person that should have to answer for this movie is GSP. <laughs> Seagal. No, this is exactly what I expect from that dude. Didn't he jump him out already? There was, there was some stuff. But I thought he jumped. Look at, I built this. Say hello to my little friend. Oh boy, there's a. He just said, "My little friend here." Come on. 
Don't tell me you don't love some Scarface. First off, Scarface is overrated because it's nine hours long. And second off... Uh, what about The Godfather? That's like three fucking movies long. Well, no, it's not. It's two movies long, and I won't ever hear anything otherwise. <laughs> Cheers. Prost. This movie, yet. <laughs> Now I show you magic trick. <laughs> yeah, the pacing on this movie is really fucking weird. Look how cool he is, though. He's smoking. I thought it was because of the gold pinky ring. No, that just makes him a ladies' man. If he was a real ladies' man, he would have lost that gold pinky ring by now. That's his third gold pinky ring in this movie. <laughs> Yeah. The honorable thing. Reminds me of uh, Pierre from New Wars My God. Unadabal. 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 Shut up. <laughs> that was Andy Dick's uh, best role, by the way, as yeah. playing prisoner number one. Uh, I, He's like, hi, I'm, I'm Mark. Been here three years, five months, six days, seven hours. But who's counting? <laughs> yeah. Also, shouts to News Radio, which was probably his actual best role. Shout out to Seamus for breathing like he has emphysema. That could be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby, do I need to get you a CPAP machine? I mean... Actually, I have one in my closet. The fuck, dog? Because I used to have sleep apnea. No, I mean, Joey Diaz has sleep apnea. Yeah. It's because he's a fat fuck, too. I want my CPAP machine on the plane, dog. People look at me like I'm fucking dominated. What is this? And they look at him like he's Darth Vader. I'm looking up at this actor to see his other acclaimed roles. I'm sure there are plenty. I mean, he is a critically acclaimed actor. I am Benicio de Brolin, aka okay, they took main characters from Sicario because we're that lazy. Make us rush and they'll never know. I only have a shotgun because I could not find a ca- one of those things that you put through cows. He's the uh, Russian Fidel Castro. <laughs> I am like Russian Pablo Escobar. <laughs> God, uh, this is so is much the more Russian John Travolta. <laughs> I hate this bouncing back and forth. Like it, it kind of fucks the pacing in a really weird way. (sighs) Who's this? Okay, so the guy who plays this fucking Benicio Del Brolin. (laughs) Oh wow, coincidentally. Florin Piercic Jr. is a Romanian actor director, so this is real accent, but probably little embellished. I mean, he does drink vodka. Interesting. Doesn't he drink vodka for breakfast? Yes. I mean, all professionals do. Shouts out to editing this tomorrow. <laughs> Shouts out, it's Labor Day, so we might not want to get too wasted. Wait, what's going on now? This guy's the rat? Steven Seagal's fighting him? Oh no, he's the rat. Homie right here. And that's believable. Steven Seagal could clearly do that in his physical prime. Well, I mean, he knows the magic pressure points. Obviously. He's setting the Kama Sutra after all. Have you ever heard of the seven day punch? That's how Bruce Lee died? I was responsible 45 years ago. Obviously, it's the same way Houdini went out, bro. Oh, they're just gonna sit back and talk like nothing just happened. My palms strike in the solar plexus and you bleed out slowly seven days later. <laughs> remember I mean, some you kid can also told watch that, a video and remember, die seven remember, days later. I remember some kid told me that in Boy Scouts said, bro, that's how Bruce Lee died. I'm like, yeah. Because mm. that's how the body works. Yeah. It's not Definitely right. wasn't an overdose or that he was poisoned. Didn't he die of like some kind of heart failure? Yeah, but... He was also at some random chick's house who has a weird history. And, like... So she poisoned him? She said that... 
he he said he had a headache. She gave him something. He laid down and he died. Oh shit! If I remember so right, so it was either an accidental overdose or yeah, poison. It's like how his son died was a shame. Like the blank was stuck in the gun. Who? I mean, like it's it wasn't even a blank. It was a. Uh, it was a it was real debris. bullet. No, it was debris. Uh, there was like a. Well, there are fire in blanks the chamber, it so it's still it's still. It'd be like a crock of metal. Yeah, like a projected out. Yeah, it is it's a projectile. That's just like such a freak of like nature thing. Wasn't his son in that one biography the, the, about him? There is uh, one, yeah. the Enter the Dragon one. Maybe. One was his son's best role is clearly the crow, which is one of my favorite Halloween movies. Yeah, mm. it, was, it was also not <laughs> towards the end of his career. Well, unfortunately, because that's the movie he died. Yeah, I know. I know. That was the reference. I know. It's kind of bad. It's kind of bad time, but well, what's sad is wasn't he like engaged to the other a- the actress or something, and she had to like sit there and watch him die, or maybe she was on set. Was uh, like, no, I mean uh, he was married and he was at an actress's house. No, not Bruce Lee. Oh, I don't His fucking son. know. Jelly, I'm not that interested in. <laughs> Speaking of headaches, he said, let me say... Also, Jelly is not his son! <laughs> I can't believe no one corrected me. No, I oh caught God. it. That's why I gave you the I disapproving it, so. look I was giving you. That's oh, the, boy. you're sleeping on the couch look. Oh, oh here comes the collusion. Oh, I thought you It's our come... favorite character, smoking again. Oh. I thought you said conclusion. <laughs> That's the gush. It's the purple motherfucker. I really want that fucking jacket. By the way, I also want those headphones. They look like uh, Souls, you know, like that Korean uh, brand. Mm-hmm. This would be pretty decent, I think. At least when I was at Fry's, that's what they told me to tell people. So Repu- they're pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, Soul Republic. So uh, there's two things on my Christmas wish list, Pulver. You mean oh, this guy's thing. the narc. This is just that dude's accent. Jesus Christ. What is... Where is he from? Yeah, make them suffer just like how fucking uh, the UN approves of that. And NATO. One of the rules of engagement in war. They're clearly fans of NATO. Clearly fans of Dick Cheney. Let them suffer. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I apologize, oh, ladies wow. and gentlemen. You guys, all of these wine glasses are set up totally not precariously on this bar. Zero percent any shots are going to be fired. Oh, wait, no, no, hold on. As a professional bartender, I can tell you if this is deliberate or not. Oh, I can't didn't see it again. I'll see you when they break. Yeah, this guy's in. He's in league with George St. Kangle. George St. Kangles? Kangle. He's wearing a Kangle. Oh. I heard Kangles. (laughs) This dude with his accent, goddammit. He's a a own defense. Oh god, it's a clown. I'm scared. Dude, that guy looks so un... Just not sure about walking. Do you see that? How many paces again? What's going on now? He's swallowing a bug? He just put the bug in water. I think George just showed up in that outfit. Well, I mean, obviously. The fucking leather biker jacket and the the gold chain. Oh, yes! Punch him in the face. I just showed up in nightclub from Montreal. Random side note, I have a jacket that looks just like that. Also, why does that dude have what I believe is Adobe Premiere on his screen? (laughs) Reestablish Audio. You hear that? He's from Brazil. Oh, God. God damn it. Oh, Jesus. You're shit. Dude, you know what this movie runs into? Like a, a bad fucking joke from South Park involving Steven Seagal. 
Where he just shows up and looks fat and out of place. He said Arkham? How come? Arkham. I literally said Arkham. Arkham, they still I literally alive. said Arkham is still alive. Two face and penguin are inside. Joker is out. Where is the Batman? I played the 360. <laughs> I saw them alive still. Boom. That's because I like to drop the bomb. <laughs> Bombs over back dead. Who let the bombs out? Boom, 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 boom. the Beastie Boys used to say, bomb, 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 Iran. Not to be confused with bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Wow. Oh, okay. this, so they made the reference to the movie they're ripping off. You know what I'm about to fuck up next? Other than Josh Koscheck. Your face. What's this? Take care of This is why I punched the mic off your face so the fans will not know you in league with me. Yeah, I love how GSP has a big role in this shit. Well, He's great. actually one of the better actors in it, too. He's oh. got the Stone Cold Killer not, look. Not to be rude, though, when I see his face like like that, front on, <laughs> he kind of yeah, reminds me of Mr. Potato does. Head. That's a weird way to phrase that. Phrasing. No, that's how I like my lady. He's dry and clean. Um, this is awkward. Alright, here's our favorite character, Emilian. Please light up another joint. Oh, oh god, I wish we had another joint. Here's here's uh, Jason Fickner, aka Jason Sated William Fickner. <laughs> Oh, there's the Botox chick who's clearly qualified to be Marshall. Cool jacket. Speaking of the joint, we're going full dude in the red jacket right now. Mm. <clears throat> Instead of Emilion, if his name was Emilia, it would have been Emilio! Peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure, 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 pressure again, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Emilion. Shouts out to, uh, oh no, wait, that was Method Man on Ice Cube. <laughs> I don't know why. I thought you were about to say, I thought you were going to say, shout out to Meth. <laughs> that too. <laughs> That's how you were going to say, shout out to Biggie, 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 Biggie <coughs> shot ya. R.I.P. Shouts out to the best rapper ever, probably named, named Christopher. I don't know any other actor. Actor's name that name. Christopher Walken. No Wallace, but Christopher Walken probably could have been a great rapper. As well. No, you said actors. Did you I say actors? Walker? Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> no more peer pressure. And also, <coughs> oh wait, that one chick we thought was on the bad side is actually on the good side. Did she get shot? <coughs> she survives. You're probably absolutely right. Hey, hey. Yeah, no, Christopher Wallace. The, I can't really remember too many other rappers named Chris. Christopher something. Whatever. There's a shitload of them. Wasn't there sure. a... Just oh, like a, I remember that one guy. What was uh, that? Chris Kelly from Criss Cross. Oh, oh, wait, is Chris oh, Brown... No, right, the best rapper. Is Chris Brown technically a rapper? No, he's a woman beater. Well, besides being a piece of shit... The only thing he's rapped is his hands around chicks' necks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, mean. <laughs> I am giving him a fist I mean, bump for this. I do not condone I mean, domestic violence, but that was funny as Pretty fun. goddamn on point. Okay, I think that's. Just I remember that one guy named Hurricane Chris who tried to start mumble rap like ten years early. <clears throat> I still oh. say Chris Crowley from Criss Cross. Anyway, we should pay attention to this terrible movie. Don't die on me. Yo, she got. She went to shock fast. She's not a train killer, clearly. He's not very good at catching bullets either, apparently. 
Or one could argue she's very good at it. <laughs> I am bullet magnet. I'm confused why is the Grab main Romanian too. guy still on there. I don't know anymore. Yeah. I Dude, I am like... Oh, wait, that who, was wait, excessive. Got, That's wait, like some Lloyd capped? Kaufman yeah, shit. Who got capped? That <coughs> joint's out and it's still coughing. <sighs> oh, they pick dude. How how fucking far had, did they have to be planning that ahead? No, he lost his hat. <laughs> Superman punch. Oh, spinning back fist. Knee bar, because you know he's been working with John Danner in 2016. Dude, I still don't understand what the plot is at all, besides extracting this Russian. Like, like I, what are they yeah, doing? I don't know. Literally, what are they doing? I know we talked over a lot of it, but I also feel like we at should some point there should be, yeah we should be able to pick Where's up on like twist? what the you know what it is the plot is. twist is GSP turned against his old boss that's it because clearly the one other feds in on it too that's it that's all we could say this seems case. like that whoa that was close almost was that a ninja right the, star cl- kind of like a throwing knife oh I just saw silver flying through the air oh body shot. I like how the, the I like how the Asian guy gets bodied by fucking the Russian guy who doesn't know how to fight and then when he fights GSP he's like oh it's time to actually fight or excuse me his name is Walker Texas Ranger oh so he's he soccer rob you oh come on son get up Superman punch to some fucking Side TKD back shit, shit. That was creepy, you guys. All right. Oh, do the table. <clears throat> Botox knocked out right there. But Ooh, she, she better out. be careful. She might puncture one of her boobs yeah. <laughs> or, lips. or lips. Clearly, Walker Texas Ranger is screwed, but he, he's got heart. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, he is the worst matchup of the two, for sure. Dude, you can tell they wanted Gina Carano for this movie. Yeah. Also, with this, this would be the movie with the... I just the, see Mr. Potato Head. This would be the movie with the most attractive... Oh! <laughs> GSB's so happy about it, too. Flying armbar? Really? After you fucking break his leg, you go for a flying armbar? He's gonna break his other arm. Concussed. If this movie had GSP and Gina Carano, maybe the most attractive MMA fighter movie ever, no. next to Fight Valley. I really like Gina Carano. Yeah, everyone does. Reverse arm bar or reverse triangle rather, or inverted. What I meant. Shouts to uh, Jorge Masvidal. See? Actually, I was just say shouts to. Oh God! What was that dude's name? So they're like, dude, I just realized something so lame. Steven Tony Se- or something. Whoa, that guy got lit up. Steven Seagal is gonna come in and beat Jess. God damn it, Toby. Uh, Seamus, you're not fulfilling your hosting duties. No, he he is. He's breathing real hard on Mike earlier. He he's one of uh, he's Luke Thomas's some, favorite callers. He's, he's listening for errors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just pokes his head up every time we call someone the wrong name. He's Mr. Wikipedia. <laughs> that works. Come on, knock off Gina Carano. Come. Man, this movie. That was what? a poorly named also, building. Also, why is this movie named Cartels? There's no cartels like at all. Everyone's so white looking. Remember, they explained that, oh, he's half Colombian. 
And they're in Romania because... He's half Colombian. They had filming rights? Or... It was cheaper to film there than Colombia. You know what happened? They're like, hey, Romania's cheaper to film here. Who's your biggest budget actor and director in Romania? Oh, this guy. Exactly. It was all part of a tourist package. Oh, man. This Luponic Distortion IPA number 10... From uh, Firestone is fucking delicious. Is it uh, Ruby Red? <clears throat> and Peach Ring? I mean, it's Ruby Grapefruit and Peach Ring and Mango Creamsicle. Mm, sounds refreshing. It is. Very good. Chris, you want to try it? I'll try it. Is it an IPA? It is. But it's then I don't want to try it. It's not. Well, I would say I, Chris will be able to tell you how bitter it is. Is it as bitter as me towards. Uh, it's like well, not really bitter at all. No, it's, it's like very smooth, tropical. Yeah, it's a tropical. Oh, then it's not like me. You're probably still going to hate it because it is hoppy, but it's very tropical. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> no, you thank you. hate anything with hops. Mm. Mm. That leaves almost as bad taste in my mouth as a certain coworker who I dislike. <laughs> or maybe don't blow him again. Okay, sorry, you're sleeping on the couch tonight? Uh, we don't work together. It's <laughs> okay, Alright, tone it down. Somehow I find him really unbelievable because there's a lot of exposed flesh and I've seen enough like SWAT team type movies and shows and army things like that to know that that's not how they dress because they don't want to get shot. Well, remember they're mar- yeah, even with- yeah, but still. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and say they can't afford to have full <laughs> <laughs> the budget does not allow. So instead they buy rollerblade pads that are green. <laughs> no, they weren't green. They were blue, but they spray painted them. Oh, yeah, maybe. They just use a nice uh, matte spray paint. I do really like his, like, sweet U.S. Army... Pack. Uh, yeah, baby blue tee. I mean... This is actually an old Navy t-shirt. They sold it two years ago. It was their uh, 4th of July shirt. Mm. For men. So they just bought a whole bunch of those. Oh, this is... This movie makes you want to go to the bathroom, too. It really... Because this is a piece of shit. It, this movie really does... Oh, my God. This movie Dude, was really that just, just like not... something they left in? He's like, these fucking trash can in the way. There really is not a quick pace to this thing, huh? It's probably would say if we watch this instead of that one other film that would check Congo, because at least this looks like a film you can watch. Yeah, I don't know. The Chick Congo one, yeah, you know he's not going to say a single word. Because it's like, ah. he's just going to be like tackling an overhand yeah. writing people. Oh, actually, it's Chick Congo. So he's just going to be clinching and kneeing people in the dick the entire movie. Maybe we need to play the Chick Congo in Attila drinking game where every time he hits someone in the dick, we have to take a shot. Because you know it's got to happen at least twice in yeah. that movie. Oh my god. We're back to this, huh? <laughs> Do I really, really wish? Excuse me, Stephen. Can you raise your voice? 
I'm telling you guys. Hey, uh, really not. Mr. He had a stroke mid halfway through. It. You're right, Mr. Seagal. Please pretend how to use this camera. <laughs> I don't know where the zoom is. It is it just yes, sir? Out. Yeah, sure. Just I've hit been it with doing your this hand. For 150 we'll, we'll... years now, and <laughs> this is making me laugh now. Listen to Steven Seagal. Huh? Are those Marlon Brando. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's a... Late life Marlon Brando is who you're watching of. No, uh, one of those is having the important... Maybe it's comedy show. I, I that, cannot refuse. That and Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now, specifically. <laughs> yeah. Where, like, they can't even show him from <laughs> from the light because he's so fucking fat. So they just, like, light only his face. <laughs> this are, if you look into that... So the, he Instagram filters him, is what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Except they're using no filters. Hey, hashtag, hashtag no filter guy. Yeah, this is, Marlo, this is the real Marlon There's Brando. There's a lot of hashtags on this movie set. I'm not going to say which one. Well, now he's calling him out. Wait, he's calling him out? <coughs> oh, get it. Wait, so Chavez is the rat? Botox is the rat? How does that make sense? I mean, how do you think she pays for that Botox? Not on I mean, Marshall's yeah. salary. It's no. going to be Kaiser Soze, right? <laughs> That's what the... Right, so the like, yeah. Kobayashi. They already referenced the movie Kaiser Soze. <laughs> like, the, this dude's going to have a limp when he stands up. <laughs> He's like, I'm not really fat. Yeah, yeah. Up. I call him. <laughs> This is where GSP says, I told you, I do not need you anymore. Fucking shoots him. So who's playing who? It's time for you to miss Superman. You don't know. That's where the chess piece comes in hand. You don't know who's playing. Why hasn't GSP been Superman yet? He has Superman people. He's fighting when he's fighting the Texas. No, Superman. I mean, why hasn't he been Superman yet in a movie? We should have. Uh, I think it's because movies. people... Are too short. Well, I think it's because people would hate if Superman had a French accent. No. We need to start a GoFundMe for this. I am actually behind this. <laughs> I am Nicolas just Cage, going hey, to tell hey, you that I am... Kickstarter, got... that's what I if meant. If Nicolas Cage almost played Superman with, with Tim Burton directing in 1995, then I think JSP is a good shot. Uh, that almost happened. My but name is Look at Tim Burton's Kent. Batman. It was going to be called Superman Lives. You can look it up. There's a documentary that was on Netflix. It's pretty great because the Superman suit would have been ridiculously weird looking. It would have been like purple and black and had like this neon coloring light. Is so it was, was like a, a strip club oh, advertisement course. as yeah. well as oh, a Superman. Oh, and what's costume. worse is Nicolas Cage had fucking long con air hair. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. That I'm out. That's too, that's too crazy like this, like, for me. No, not good tonight. That's too rapey for me. That's though. a kryptonite. You just start yelling. There's ah. ninjas. Oh well, of course. And Steven Seagal. Hey, J- Karen. Just like keto is a real martial art, so is ninjutsu. <laughs> yeah, they're super. Real. Shout out to the Lego Movie. Shout out to Phil Bussardo. Go ahead. No wait, that's the dude who does the vapor views. <laughs> <laughs> to Phil. Oh, I don't forget. Oh. Google Phil Samurai Sword and he's probably the fat dude that comes up. That fucking idiot. Remind me, there is a funny story. Oh look, this, this guy finally dies. Like, no. It's too inappropriate. GSP is just judo throwing every motherfucker in this movie. Fun fact, that's not him really throwing the fist. That's his stunt double. But he oh, hits no. every one of those motherfuckers. Why is he going after GSP? That's not fair. But he hits every one of those motherfuckers and then misses GSP? I know, it does bullshit. There's too much precision. His precision wasn't precise. I would just yeah. want to say that shit. I was going to say it's because he was a ninja, but okay. Watch your language. Oh, 
Oh shit, are they at an Ice Cube concert? Hey Chris, so basically when it becomes a movie, you become his, you become his best shot. <laughs> hey, shots fired, Karen. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Quite, I love all these jokes because I was the one that made them for once. Hey, you become as good as a shot as the plot calls for. That's how movies work. Yeah, 100%. Hmm? That's not how bullet physics work. No. That's shit with a 50 cal. People are just flying. Mm. Where'd GSP go? Oh, he ran away. I don't know, but this size boy like tiger is a bird. He flies solid. away. That's. no? <laughs> what did he say? He was like, sit down with you. I, I don't know, it sounded like some fighting game shit though, if I'm gonna be honest. I was just imagining a really bad version of Street Fighter. Yeah, yeah. That's what it sounds like. Chuck Tuck or stuff. Yeah. <laughs> or so I got you though. <laughs> That's more like so what the SWAT bitch. team wears. Yeah. The best thing that could happen in this movie is GSP wins with going Kamehameha <laughs> at the end of the fucking film. Oh, don't kill the knockoff Gina Carano. For sure kill the hell lady. Oh, it's Gina Liv Tyler Carano. <laughs> oh, yes! Nailed Liv it. Tyler circa the Hulk. Yes. Nailed it, dude. Oh my god. I, I'm gonna give Nailed you fist bumps for that. Oh my god, I was gonna look worried this entire movie. Where's Bruce, my dad? no! Bruce, don't leave me! Bruce, no! <laughs> What sucks too is unfortunately they haven't brought her. They probably will never bring that character back in the MCU Mm-mm. because Universal owns. They basically well, they haven't even they, mentioned her. All they brought universe. is just the dad back, General Ross. But what I'm saying is like Universal owns the rights to the the solo films of the Hulk. Like yeah. he can always appear in the ensembles. Well, no, and it's funny because like I've noticed that in the different Avengers movies where they don't mention her at all, but they mention Pepper, they mention Jane. They, yeah, yeah, but. Oh, you mean the hero of Stanton, the one they call Jane? <laughs> Sweet Firefly reference, baby. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you were, uh... Never mind. Oh, this the is... Hero oh, it's an Aikido. Aikido beats everything, dude. Man, oh, dog. I used course. to have that table when I was a kid in my parents' house, by the way. Um, Did your brother Aikido you through it? Would anybody <laughs> like to know about a fun fact about a glass table in my life? Mm, I'll let me guess. You injured yourself? I cut off my pinky toe. Like oh. clean off or partial? Oh, like it was dangling by like that oh, much flesh. Cool. And they had to reattach That's it. That's pretty metal. I hope no one was eating during this show. I was like three years old. At three. You fuck. My, so I was chasing a mute. There was a mute. Oh my god, he's doing his Aikido stance. This is so bad. Yeah. Dude, this is so on. bad. We will have to get back to this. But Karen, good this is so upsetting. Holy shit. Uh, no! I mean, this fight's already bad enough, but... Why? Why? Oh, dude, oh! You, oh, dude, you don't move the cop here, the raid. God damn it, it's... It's oh! literally a hammer, it's, right? It's, yeah, he oh. kills... Oh, no. No. By the way, shout out to the raid, too. The raid, too, is really sick, by the way. Yeah, mm. I need to rewatch this. Oh, my God, he's fucking hop keto the uh, cop keto the shit out of this. Dude. Guys, I'll stop Superman. Dude, his big ass would Even be if Nick fucking... Diaz locked me in a refrigerator box and buried me in the desert, I will still come back and take kitty litter and get you. Now, no offense to GSP, but I feel like Steven Seagal is GSP like 40 years from now. Not no. at all. Not at all. GSP actually stays in shape <laughs> the more older he gets. That's why dog tried to eat flies. I think he's just one fly. And it's the one that's been tormenting him all day. Yeah. Oh, that's a good acting face right there from (laughs) GSP. Oh, shit. Is he Vulcan? I don't know. No, he stabbed him. That is. That's not a Vulcan pinch. That is a stab. Huh? Something in French. That's some some good acting right there. Make sure to, uh, uh, that I look like the Jason, dead guy. Don't forget painting. Jason. Yeah, Jason Fichtner and Botox Liv Tyler. Huh, they're I'm gonna so kiss. Startled. They're gonna kiss. 
Wow. Remember, even the hey, Carol, even the remaining guy is like, I have to say, you and your partner, there is something else there. Like, he literally said that. It's like, oh my god, I'm like so distressed. Called it! Well, I mean, obviously, who the hooker had to kiss somebody eventually. But they never kiss on the mouth, ba- mouth baby. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's she put so much money into it, she didn't sit there holiday <laughs> I'm not, um... Show me how I shot you. Wait, did he end up shooting him? I don't even know how this guy got shot. I don't remember. To be honest. I assume everybody shot everybody by this point. Oh, wait. He's hurt? He looked fine. No, he's hit. Oh. Still, he looked fine. I'm Russia, this is vodka and I'm good. Oh no, I'm Romanian. <laughs> safe save. Nice save there. Nice save. You know how to tell they all fought in the UFC? The tattoos. My favorite clothing brand, Affliction. Tap out. <laughs> it's not Ed Hardy? Ed Hardy? Ed Hardy. Tom? Hardy. No, Ed Hardy, the fashion designer. Who has those really gaudy Guido shirts? Uh, oh, oh no, no! I now know what you're talking about. Because yeah, 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 yeah. uh, that movie we watched with the Brazilian guy who played the hero. Also, everything Cody Garbrandt's ever worn. Yeah. Or my. I favorite. really liked yeah, my yeah. joke there, and you just. Sorry, but I know I ruined it. It was good. I was just waiting to see where Chris was going with it. Yeah. That was a good joke. I was proud of that. No, it is. Once you mention, I know he's actually talking about. Yeah, and that's no. 100 fit. Ed Hardy 100 percent hangs with the boys. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Hang it with the boys? He loves Jaeger bombs and then fucking fireball. Yeah. I bet he likes Russian car bombs too. They're good shots. Irish. If, especially in Sorry. The Irish. I uh, apologize. Not Russian car bombs. I think Irish there actually is bombs. a Russian car bomb though. I'm not even kidding. That sounds bad. I, that's gonna be worse than an Irish car bomb. Hey, Karen, you can say they're my favorite shots things. to take when I'm hanging out in Del Mar. <laughs> oh my god! Well played, sir. Uh, you know what? There were so many cops passing me on the five. I honestly thought that Dunkin' Donuts set up a booth at the fairgrounds. I mean, I mean, that's pretty much the only reason why. <laughs> yep. And Krispy yep. Kreme. No, it's, a, it's called a donut I'm convention. Sorry. I'm so sorry. That was my best joke ever. You guys are welcome. Dude, a million on his arm. Fuck yes. Your homie in the red is armed. About time. Give the high guy some guns. Oh, right now she's a knockoff... Um, uh, what is that? Fifth Element actress. Halle Wait. Berry? Who is it? It's not Halle Berry. Who is it? It's the redhead, right? Uh, <laughs> and after you have to know this the That's actress a- from the fifth element oh shit not Mira Sorvino it, it might as well be though Mila Jovovich oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mila Jovovich oh yeah where she's like multi pass or some shit right yeah yeah isn't that the movie? She's like, Monty. <laughs> I've said to Bruce Willis. That's <laughs> where Chris Tucker was really annoying. <clears throat> you okay? That was real loud. So sorry. Um, I smoke because I'm cool, but then this happens. Don't smoke. Alright, take it easy, Keanu Reeves. Oh, see how this open ended? You see how this open ended for the sequel, guys? So I'll do what I have to find it. Mm. Maybe so, but you know budget not good enough for a sequel. Well, who knows, bro? This was all, this came out in 2017. Oh, we have plenty right. of time to still get a sequel to this. Although I do... <laughs> get, I'm not hearing great things about the Fight Valley sequel since I can't get anyone to talk about it at all, even though I asked Well, questions. didn't you tell me something happened with the director, evidently? Oh, well, yeah, I did, but that was before Fight Valley 1. Oh, okay. I, I, maybe just someone finally Googled them. <laughs> then what's going on here? Oh, the Romanian police. Oh, they finally showed up? They have police in Romania? Um, 
Is there something wrong with him? He's just been staring at that sheep like that. It's probably contact time. <laughs> oh god, I'm so sorry. That's literally the only thing. Poor Seamus. Jamie, you can turn around, buddy. He's like, you motherfuckers want. are cold blooded. <laughs> He's like, no, fuck this movie. I, I feel so well, bad. Last thing I want to do That's is watch is. this. He's like, I was hosting, but this movie's so bad, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can't watch a train wreck. What can he say? twist guys I kidnapped my own sister even though I didn't really do it I wanted to confuse if it's right that is twist of course so that's why everyone's what? awful Because she's my sister, and we tried to make this way more sophisticated than it really should be. My sister! <laughs> my sister! My sister, she number one whore in village! Let's go ball it! <laughs> we really combined a couple characters there, didn't we? <laughs> they <laughs> were all <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen. Nope. Half of them were Roman. I'm okay. You know, we can make this move better. She's his sister. I'm his older brother. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay. I'm out of beer, and I oh, really shouldn't boy. drink any more beer. But that joke made me want to drink some beer. But you know what I'm saying? This is how bad this writing is. He would just say some dumb shit instead of saying, oh, I'm her older brother, because it could have just went that way, too. But. For sure. Watch, watch, this camera's not really on, is it, huh? Wait, there's no red light. No, he is. Yo, they're recording in 1080i? What year is this? The fuck? Step over to P, son. It's the goddamn 2017s. They couldn't afford it. Fuck, man. Police budget. It's just so distracting with his fake fucking hair extensions and the yellow glasses. Mostly the uh, the ninety nine cent store mustache and the midnight and the black jacket. hair and fucking <laughs> on his eyes. Oh, eye he sprayed on GLH. You yeah, great yeah. lawyers. God, I really am trying to remember that guy's name where you could like move the magnets around to give him crazy hair. Huh. Another one like I'm talking it was about game? was like almost yeah. like a uh, what were those games? Zero percent. Wait a minute. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Wooly Willy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Wooly Willy, everybody. It's very creepy looking. Is it time to go rip some more cigs? Is that a marijuana cigarette? Not Is this where he burns the picture because he feels guilt after she being kidnapped by her own I mean, mother? he did just... He just basically, I got con the whole time. Cool. Can I go home and retire now? That's not saying, can I retire? This was lame. Right. <laughs> what like, like, what, yo, what so, do you say? So fuck this though, right? Wait, was that... The key. Wasn't that a key someone had swallowed earlier? Mm-hmm. I don't get it. So he has... Uh, well, who cares? I don't care. I don't care. He let him get away. Yeah. And he said he would find him. 
No, I think he's saying that he gave him a fake key. Yeah. He said, how the fuck do I get out of Romania? That movie sucks, man. That was man. real good. I know we talked over a lot of probably theoretically crucial plot points, but fuck, man. There was no crucial plot points. That was the yeah, problem. Yeah, guess what the main part of a plot that entices? It's called an ending. There was no closure with the main character except for Walker, Texas Ranger I mean, no, dying. Like, yeah, kind of was for some of them, but not really anything no. significant. Mm-hmm. Uh, the best part was that George St. Pierre got to yell a lot of weird shit. Uh, which we the best part gonna... was when Seamus came over. Well, and the, we're definitely going to use one of those clips for the intro. Uh, also, Dude in the Red Jacket, best part of this movie by far. Moving on! Smoking <laughs> joints and making jokes the whole time. Fucking that guy's the best. Uh, shout out to Budget Gina Carano and her awful, awful dermatologist. Liv Tyler Carano. Yeah, Liv Tyler Carano. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, man, I don't know. Anybody have any, uh, sweeping thoughts on this super great, fantastic, Steven Seagal uh, film? It was shot, like, a bunch of... It looked yeah, good. Yeah, fine. Uh, the, the blood effects, we had their CGI. Over they the top, but they looked good. Top, they looked good for over the top, yeah. 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 It was, like, hard-boiled. Because, remember, I told you, clearly they were inspired by hard-boiled. John Woo was a big inspiration. With all the glasses lined up, bang, 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 bang. I didn't yeah. see any doves. Um, didn't see any dual wielding, you know? True. But, uh, that wouldn't have surprised me either. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, GSP dual wielding, probably flying on a fucking service cart. Oh, know. how about Superman gunshots? That's what I want. Yeah, just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everyone knows what that would look like. Imagine GSP with two guns, Superman shooting. Seamus is down. Yeah, I know. I think that's uh, that's really the image everyone should take away from this movie, because that's, that's a lot more fun than what the movie was like. What do you, th- what'd you think? Um, I was raised with the saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, no, don't you're say not. anything at all. I know your mother. That's not true at all. <laughs> like, well, Karen, you already made a lot of too soon Del Mar jokes. Yeah, yeah. Mm. God forbid my boss ever fucking hear this. <laughs> so maybe don't tag me. Well, hey, good news. You don't work in Del Mar anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You know who else does it? <laughs> Ice Cube? <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say the, the deputy. Oh. <laughs> I shot the deputy, but I didn't shoot the sheriff. No, oh, right. you had it backwards. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I, that was yeah. the, that it was, was on purpose, show. yeah. Um, um, so yeah, that's, that's a perfect place to wrap this. Uh, we will be back next week with actual content. I think we're recording Thursday is our goal. Yeah, Thursday. Um, since Chris goes out of town to New York. I will be in New York City for 228. That's right. That's going to be cool as hell. Yeah. I'm uh, probably going to go to the, not the, like, the most badass well-known sports bar. It's probably too crazy, but something we're cool, man. You know, I'll figure it out. Definitely, definitely. And you also let me know what part of New York here, and I'll send you a couple restaurant recommendations oh, yeah. and shit. Looking forward to that. Um, but... Yeah, we will be back on Thursday, theoretically, with another regular episode where we talk about the podcast y'all should check out. And, uh, you have anything else we need to plug? Oh, you have that article, though, eventually we're going to get out. Yeah, once I get to log in, because I'm a lazy piece of shit. And I That's love right. Procrastinate. Look for that this week. We will, worst case, by the time we record the next episode, we'll get that posted or yeah. something. Uh, and then, other than that, you guys can hit us up on Twitter, TSOVpod. On Twitter, uh, we do, I want to mention, if you are looking for an unedited version of a podcast that was edited last week, say by a person with the initials Young J, say there was a podcast with a certain cowboy on it that you wanted an unedited version of, go ahead and look at our Twitter and look for the caps locks, or the capital letters in, uh very inconspicuous tweet and you will find what you're looking for. Uh, I'm trying not to just blast that out because I like Cowboy a lot, but yeah, we may or may not have posted the unedited version of a edited show, so uh, go ahead and check that out. Check out uh, our YouTube channel which is up to date. Eventually we'll start doing video here shortly. And uh, shouts out to Firestone for making good beer. And shouts out to the fucking weird glass lady full of, uh, full of brandy. What is it? Oh, it's literally Nogueras Coma. 
Nogueras Comas Barcelona. Yeah, Nogueras Comas Barcelona. That is not a bad omen for a uh, little nog fighting soon. I don't know what it is. Uh, we'll go ahead and wrap here. Uh, Christy, anything else you want to add? Uh, not at the moment. Girlfriend Karen? Um, no, I'm good. Perfect. Well, we will be back uh, next week. So until then, everybody, go do something decadent. We out. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.